Hello family, alhamdulillah made it to the hotel uh, But it's a big wait I think uh, they're saying there's gonna be wait It's 7 a.m. right now It's gonna be wait until 2 to get a room So I'm gonna wait here for a bit The place is called Box Sands Mansion It's pretty cool looking It's, uh, it's nice, lots of uh, amenities and stuff um, just the uh, downside is that uh, there is no uh, there's no room available right now but uh, we will shall I wait around and uh, you know go from there so yeah you guys uh, stay tuned because I saw some durian here I'm outside I'm gonna be probably later go get some durian to try it out for you guys um, and uh i saw some mall too so maybe go there and uh, i heard there's a zoo here so i'm going to try to see if i could check that out and now uh, i have a meeting that i mentioned to you guys um in about half an hour so i'm just going to get ready for uh, that so let me get into that guys i'll see you guys in the next shot alhamdulillah finished my meeting alhamdulillah it went well um yeah, I thought I, 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 you know, it was like a pitch competition, talking about a business idea. So, alhamdulillah, I, I had my turn. Uh, the judges had some questions, so answer the questions. Um, and uh, they said they'll let me know, inshallah, by end of day today or end of uh, next week. Uh, so... Yeah, whatever, you know, whatever we do, we just got to put our 100% and leave the last will of Spantal. If it's meant to be, it'll happen. If it's not meant to be, then it won't, you know? So I tried to talk to the brothers, see if I can get them to push them to, to, uh, um, you know, give me a hotel room. They said they can because people check out around 12 and uh, oh and they check uh, out at around 12 and that's when homekeeping or housekeeping does their uh, cleaning business so for now he's like uh, you just gotta come back at two. The only thing that I can kind of got worked out with them is that maybe I could come at around 12 and I'll wait for you guys to clean one room and give me. But that's how far I was able to get. Swallow here. Just like uh, Afghanistan, people like to keep birds. I don't know what kind of birds they are there. But uh, Afghanistan and mainly canaries. And there's another type of bird that they keep. But canaries, I, I have a canary at home in Solo. Next time I'll show you guys. They sing really nice. But these other birds, I don't know. I don't know if they sing or not. It's early here too, it's fun. Ah. Sorry guys, I'm, I'm sleepy. I woke up at 4 in the morning. Plus I couldn't sleep last night because of my head. Uh, I don't even know where I'm going, man. Look at this. I think maybe I might need to turn back. So I was trying to go to the main road. But there is no way to the main road from here. Check out these alleyways, it's pretty cool. A little bit kind of reminds me of Shifshaw in Morocco. How they have the, the sides painted blue and white. In Shifshaw, you would see like the house is all painted, painted blue. Painted blue as well as white. And it looks really nice. And people, they say they do that every year. To try to keep the area clean. 
and it's just nice. There's a masjid. Oh, sorry, there's a lot of masjids here. A Lombok. Alhamdulillah. I'm sorry, guys. I can't help myself. It's uh, it's early, 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 early. Yeah, so we left the Lombok, the city of a thousand mosques. Mashallah, there were so many, so many mosques there. And here too, there's a mosque there, there's another mosque here. It's awesome to see. <laughs> Maybe I should just go to the lobby of the hotel just lie down on their couch and sleep and they're probably gonna be forced <laughs> and give me a room my main thing was just to set up somewhere quiet to do the presentation so alhamdulillah that finished that went well for now I I don't have any other concerns I wanted to Maybe take a quick shower or take a nap because I woke up so early. But it's okay. Hey, check out this other bird. Hey, this house has a lot of different birds. It's like every house that you walk by, they have a cage and they have birds. Look at this one. Oh, this one's a parrot. And the other one you can't see. Yeah, like almost every house has a has a pair as a bird. Today is the election day too. And so I was asking the Gojek driver uh, if he voted. He said that it's going to open at seven. AM I think until 12 p.m. So that's around five hours But uh, You guys correct me if I'm wrong That's what I understood from what he said But if you guys know What time was the election or what time is the voting for everybody maybe include in the comment section Almost everybody subhanAllah that I've talked to They've been saying that they were gonna vote for Prabhau uh, and then I was reading an article yesterday how there are some people who who are against Prabhau because he had like some criminal cases against him um, yeah from back in the day when he was a general so I don't know I don't know too much about it it was just because uh, the election was the election is happening there's a lot of news outlets that are writing, you know, about about it and as well as the candidates. So I was just kind of scrolling through reading to see what was going on. Hey, look at that. They got durian. That's huge. I have to come back, maybe check. I don't know which one is going to be good because I asked some people and they said the smell is what gives it away <laughs> if it's good or not but when you smell the outside of it, it smells bad it's outside of it smells bad but the inside smells good there's a laundry place here too until later maybe when I get a room I'm gonna bring my my dirty clothes and see if I can get it washed when uh, every city I'm getting the clothes washed yesterday got the clothes washed in Lombok and uh, when I came back from outside like what I was wearing it was all sweaty so took those off took that to them too 
and uh, it was like 11 12 o'clock where they they brought uh, the clothes it's uh, late but you know when you're uh, traveling you can only take so much clothes with you so laundry is uh, essential and it's good that um, they have it so close to like uh, hotels since the people staying at the hotel are the one that will need it so having these kind of services close by makes life easy because especially when you're traveling you don't have uh, for example car or motorcycle unless you rent it from somewhere to be able to go far to get things done so having stuff close by definitely helps I wanted to share with you guys my first impression of uh, Surabaya I came into the airport I wasn't able to record the airport for you guys because uh, my camera the battery was really really low and it was gonna die so I actually had it plugged in so it charge um, outside the airport it had just rained when I came out like mashallah everything looked green and clean and then even on the highways everything was clean uh, so I don't know if they had just cleaned it like the let's say if there's cleaners already like cars or people that do cleaning at night time or it's just generally clean so I just thought it was much cleaner than even Jakarta Bali and Lombok and I thought the roads were bigger less traffic and uh, still like a larger larger city than Lombok and Bali um, maybe I don't know if it would be in the same scale as, as Jakarta but because it's in the island of Java uh, it makes sense to be I guess a populated populated city but uh, yeah I like it because it's busier there was lots of development so you can see lots of big buildings lots of big buildings uh, big roads not too much traffic which was nice because I think from the hotel sorry from the airport to the hotel probably took maybe 15 20 minutes which was not bad compares uh, comparing it to the first day when I got to Jakarta it took six hours six hours for me to get to the um, to the hotel from the airport but keep in mind that I had to change um, hotel rooms because the first one I went to was pretty bad it was like a dungeon no windows it was uh, dirty so uh, I told him man I can't uh, I went to holiday in because that's where I had stayed before and kind of had an experience of what they were like check out Mosul like you see lots of big buildings I asked the, the Gojek driver what you can do here I asked him about the zoo he's like yeah the zoo you can go or you can go to a mountain but that's far it's like two hours and uh, I was like okay what else beside the, the mountain he said you can also go check out the mall so I saw earlier when we were getting closer to the hotel uh, I saw mall I saw sign for I think it was Ikea H&M Uniqlo and a bunch of other stores I'm guessing that that was the, the hotel so let's see there's no clothes in there or well, there is but 
it looks so empty the one in like Vancouver they're packed there's a Chinese New Year themed this is a uh, I think for the residential and the office so Siputra World Office Residence Next Soho and that's what it looks like or the final design would look like here's H&M Seems like there's not many stores on this ground level. Wow, look at this chandelier. It's like looks like bubbles. A little uh, balloonish, balloonish. Dream home in the sky with direct access to the mall. That's pretty cool. It's like Richmond Center, how we have there. At their building these guys already have it here world sort of buy a welcome kid rewards and special privileges my CWS even up top too there aren't a lot of stores they're like opening so I think that might be maybe the case it's a new building or the expanded and they are opening so here's let's take a look at the timing Sunday service 10 a.m. Sunday, what is this? Worship? Oh, it's a church. Never mind. Sorry. I thought they would have the, the mall's timing. There's another Starbucks inside here. There was one outside. Unless it's the same one that. Maybe it's the same one. This is the mall side. And the other one was from the outside. Yeah, I think that's the case. Starbucks. They're struggling. That's what happens when you do bad stuff. People don't support you. I used to go to Starbucks, but haven't gone there for a few months now, and I don't plan on going. Here's uh, another entrance for IKEA. That's Kate Spade. The team is busy, like the housekeeping or cleaning. The team is busy cleaning up. There's coaches here, wow. And oh, that's pretty cool. Look at all these balls. This is for kids area. Wow. I don't know about kids man, I'll probably just go in there myself. <laughs> kid <laughs> kick kick all the kids out of the way. <laughs> How is coach? Coach Coach Scott. A lot of merchandise in comparison to Uniqlo. So look, their purses and then their bags and hat. Coach ever since time, 1941 New York. Geo Dung I don't know what that is. Oh, that's pretty cool, this painting. That looks so realistic. Look at that. Hi. Oh, this side they have uh, for kids rental cars, little rental cars that you can rent and they can drive around here, which is cool because usually in some places they have it outside, but outside here is hot, so inside is nice for them to ride their bikes, but at the same time. 
stay cool. Here back to where we started, came into those entrance. This is the uh, Chinese New Year display. The dragon, I think it's the year of the dragon. And this is the BMW M series. Do not touch. It's pretty sick. I think maybe I need to sit down, search and see what's close by, like if there's any food area that I could go because this mall is not opening for another I don't know how many hours let me see another hour and 15 minutes Alhamdulillah okay so I'm just gonna check for for somewhere to eat so when I find it then we'll head there together I couldn't wait for the food court or the mall to open so I hopped on um, a delivery service it's called Gojek it's similar to uh, how do we go out he let me into the mall he had the doors open now I ordered food I don't want to go outside and he says you can't because the mall's going to open at 10 shit <laughs> Blood twist. What in the world is this? I think I'm just getting kidnapped. He says, go sit down. <laughs> what the? What the? What is just going on, man? I want to eat. I have my food coming. <laughs> ah, what's going on? Well, what am I going to do with my food? Sorry, I didn't know you can't come in there. Mm, yeah. My first time ordering, so. Where did you come from? I came from uh, Lombok today. Lombok. Yes. Okay. Your first time in Surabaya? Uh, first time in Surabaya, first time, uh, first order from Grab. First order. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. We got the food, drink, fries, burger, everything. And next thing we gotta go sit somewhere and have our food and enjoy it and all that good stuff and the most is open by then. Terima kasih. Sounds good. Sound like Okay, alhamdulillah. It's good. I found the brother. I found the brother. We got the food. So it's not bad. It's like a meal for less than seven dollars or the seven dollars basically and that's delivered so i gave him i think it was 80 yeah so i gave him a hundred which is less than 10 because one dollar is like eleven thousand one hundred and fifty and then from that i think he gave me sixteen hundred sixteen hundred back so yeah like less than seven bucks for meal and then it's delivered to you can't ask for more right i'm super hungry guys i'm gonna camp here somewhere i don't have the energy to go inside the mall i need to eat my food first and then we'll figure out the next plan of action alhamdulillah Woo. man made it to the hotel room alhamdulillah they were nice enough they let me check in a little bit early but they charged me an extra 100k uh, I was too tired man, I just needed to get in and relax and, and sleep So I went in, took my medicine And I just crashed uh, For a few hours I woke up After that, I had a bit of a bite, ate some food 
took my medications, medications, and now I'm just uh, heading out and about. Maybe this is like a Hindu area that's similar to uh, Bali, where they had it at the temples. I'm just uh, stepping out, go get some drone shots for you guys. Um, I wanted to go to the uh, what you might call it, to the zoo, but they close I think at four pretty early. So I'm hoping to maybe inshallah go tomorrow before they close earlier. So I can at least get to see the place. And then in total we're gonna be heading out of Surabaya to Jog Jakarta and then inshallah from Jog Jakarta to Andong and then from Bandong to Jakarta and then from there Okay, we're gonna call it a day and the trip inshallah and uh, head back home oh yeah just to update you guys so it's like update you guys about the the stitches on my head I message I email actually the doctor from uh, Lombok and uh, he got back to me he said you need to take it off the staplers or staples or stitches these past couple of days I've been out of it I've been saying just whatever my words are like all mixed up so yeah the stitches he said you have to take it out not me he said like a doctor would have to do it within seven to ten days Alhamdulillah. seven days would be exactly on the day that i'm leaving inshallah on the 20th yeah uh, so that means that i probably will have to fly like this with a head bandage and when i get to vancouver i'll have to book a book an appointment I don't know with who maybe a clinic or something to get them to take off the stitches I don't know if they want to give me more medicine cream or whatever Subhanallah has been hurting today a little bit more than yesterday and it feels really tight so like when I try to smile or if I'm trying to make any facial expression, I can feel, I can feel the skin getting stretched and that stretching hurts it because those stitches are trying to keep it together tight. But it's all okay. Uh, all this yawning, I hope it's not making you guys sleepy. People are super, super, super nice. It's super easy in Indonesia to make friends. They just smile and then the conversation starts. Hey, where are you from? Oh, I'm from here. How about you? And boom, you're talking to them. And if you're in Canada, you're looking at somebody. They're going to start fighting you. Like, hey, we're staring at like dude I just thought you look like my friend why you gotta be so upset people are super uptight there Paula they don't get enough vitamin D everybody's upset everybody's depressed everybody's uptight like yeah it's, it's pretty crazy that's why you see 
uh, in in the United States, like people killing each other over over like a chicken burger. I don't know if you guys uh, know about this or not. A few years ago, Popeye, Popeye's chicken, they're basically like KFC, like a chicken uh, burger joint or restaurant. And they introduced a new chicken burger. And there were lo lots of uh, lineups and people were like going crazy to get, to get one of these burgers. And somehow there was like a disagreement between a few people in a line like in one of the restaurants and one guy shot and killed the other person like damn this is a chicken burger man like is it really worth it taking somebody's life like but it happened you know if you if i hadn't heard like heard about it on the news somebody told me i'd be like ah that's a lie like over a chicken burger but no like people in america as well as North America and even maybe Europe too, pretty uptight because like I said, it's not enough sun in there. Everybody's so depressed. That the smallest thing drives them nuts and gets them to fight and kill people. So if you could Imagine somebody taking someone's life over a chicken burger. Imagine what else they will fight you about. <laughs> but alhamdulillah here, you look at people, they smile at you, nod their head, you know, wave their hand. It's, it's pretty uh, good. So, it's nice to see that. That's when Islam, the process I'm said smiling on your brother's face is like a uh, charity because you know when, when we smiling is contagious we smile and make somebody else smile and it could even make their day so you know as humans we gotta we gotta help each other we gotta love each other there's too much hate around to let it get to us The little baby. The little babies are super cute, mashallah. They're always curious looking around what's going on. What is this crazy guy doing here? <coughs> so I just come camped out outside the Honda store. It's a nice gives me a nice view of the road. I'm gonna fly the drone from here, get some shots of the buildings up there, get these roads to give you guys a little bit of overview of uh, yeah, a little bit of Surabaya here and then the soon it's gonna get dark and I'm pretty tired I can't go too far I don't want to get another motorcycle especially after what happened um, I didn't bring the drone that uh, I had with me last time that was a newer one uh, this is the older one that I have the mini 2 and it's not great like i can barely fly it here even at the track uh, in um, lombok mandalika track i was trying to fly there was so much interference in here too like i could barely send it to the other side of the street before like it loses connection with the controller and uh yeah like i don't i can't see it so now i'm trying to see if updating would help but there's no firmware update it's just uh fly database so I don't think that's going to really impact it um, I think what I'm going to do is just fly it above my head from here to the hotel room just to get some a little bit of content content for today and uh, yeah then we'll call it a day so let's head out through the drone even in like less, less uh, populated area and still lost connection with it so I lost it for at least like 10 minutes and uh, I thought that I lost this drone too this one's garbage but luckily I went to the updated home point and alhamdulillah I was just hovering there and it, did, it hadn't landed so 
took control of it and uh, sent it took control of it and brought it back uh, landed it put my bag and I'm like that's it I don't want <laughs> to push my luck and uh, lose this joint too because I think I've already lost like two or three drones already so if I lose any more my wife's gonna not let me buy another one because even <laughs> getting this one was tough she's like no you're gonna get another one you're gonna lose it I was like no I'm not getting better it's like that's what you said last time <laughs> I just can't help it, help it for guys it's like a it's like a toy right you can't help but uh, but play with these things but now with technology it's just so difficult like it uses the Wi-Fi signal and the Wi-Fi signal so saturated right like everybody uses Wi-Fi 2.4 and 5 gig and uh, because of that as soon as you fly then it was also electric wires they they cause interference so it's like almost everything costs them interference I'm just at Indumart I'm gonna grab some drinks because outside is hot man and I have water in the at the hotel but they're actually um, warm so I'm gonna try to get a cold water um, maybe some juice or something so oh, this, this seems like a, a cold water I'm just gonna go maybe grab some juice here's some juice uh, some mango juice they're not cold like I don't know what is it man they're not cold I want cold juice how do I get cold juice cold juice cold juice cold juice cold juice you think milk and yogurt drinks more of it and this is your uh, you know your uh, what time does that say Less, uh, zero sugar then your lime I don't know what's time then the lime so you got your sprite and all the stuff they're cold but the juices are not cold so I don't know what to do let's try one more time bismillah let's see if I see another drink so here you guys check it out just water this this orange water I don't know it's like vitamin stuff here is some yogurt drinks uh, but these ones like I took that mango one and it's not cold what else the panda what's that Oh, it's a guard twist. Maybe let's try that. I hope this is cold. Oh yes, feels cold. Second time's a charm. Ooh. Oh, feels so nice. Feels so nice. I think this is all I'm gonna get. I was thinking of getting some ice cream too, but I don't think I'm gonna make it. I always have issues with the cashiers open. Can never seem to figure it out. Oh. Alright, got the water, got the juice. Now we can hit the road. Ooh. Every time, every time I get out of these stores, I have to uh, miss a step and twist my ankle. Like, I don't know how many how many videos now that I come out of these businesses and boom twist my ankle alhamdulillah that it hasn't been so bad that but I just realized like every time I come out of these businesses I twist my ankle so this one is Lisa Gar twist it's lemon flavor oh it smells like lemonade bismillah Mm. Alhamdulillah That's good Refreshing 
a little bit on the sweet side but it's good that's the job ever since I came to Indonesia I've been drinking so much liquid and still feel thirsty like when I went to the cleanest village in Bali like when I got, when I got the drone shot there right after I went to one of the stores and I had um, orange juice bottle of water then another second bottle of water I barely felt anything and then we went for lunch then I ordered another drink because we sweat it all out so you don't feel like you've had a lot to drink if I drank the same amount of drinks in Canada I'd probably go to washroom like 10 times but it makes sense because it's not hot there so you don't sweat it out instead you have to pee it out <laughs> here's another laundry and another laundry beside them I was thinking of making a bag of my dirty clothes and bringing it together clean oh, but I was just so tired man it's like uh, I, was, I probably said this to you guys already in this video like 10 million times that I woke up 4 in the morning today so I woke up early today and that's why I was super tired at like 11 a.m. So when I went back to the hotel, even though they, they had told me that check-in was going to be at 2, I was thinking that I'm just going to go there and they had a couch. So I was just going to sit on the couch. And uh, they also have AC, so it would have been cool. I was like, I'm just going to kill three hours there. But alhamdulillah, when I went to the counter, I said I want to check in. And then there was a lady who came by, she said If you want to do early check-in, we charge 100k I was like, that's okay, that's fine, let's just do this As long as you guys can give me a room, man, because I need to crash then Went upstairs, talked to the family a little bit And they found out about the, the injury, because I hadn't told them I didn't want to worry them too much so I talked to them a little bit and it was getting late night there almost 9 at night so they went to bed and I crashed I fell asleep for I think 3 hours, 3-4 three, hours woke up around 3.30 I think ordered some food ate and then came up Do you guys think I would pass an Indonesian or as soon as they see me, I look foreigner? Because I get a lot of looks and I'm thinking that might be because maybe I don't look Indonesian. Awesome. Terima kasih. Have a good night. Alhamdulillah. Okay, so that's done. Now I can go and crash. Okay. So I want to go. Ooh, 
it's nice and cold. Oh, it feels so nice. So when I come back, the room will be nice and chill. And it is nice and chill, feels so good. Ah, oh, here's the room, guys. Gonna watch some TV, guys. Maybe freshen up, take a shower, crash, feel tired, exhausted. If you guys made it all the way to the end of this uh, video, thank you very much. Appreciate you guys' love and support. I'm sorry, guys, I couldn't really bring you more exciting content. It's just uh, since yesterday, I've been a little bit down uh, because of the medication and stuff. Feel tired, so. Inshallah tomorrow is another day and I'm hoping to go to the zoo so we can get some cool content there um, Yeah, so if you made it this far, thank you very much. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Take care of yourself and family. Inshallah, see you guys in the next video Take care. Wassalam